what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for some more escape for tarkov in today's video we have two missions that i need to do because i'm very close to my kappa container i have to go and hunt 50 scavs on woods greater than 50 meters away and i also have to hunt pmcs with a marksman rifle so i'm going to be opening things up with a suppressed svd and later on in the video also using some other things like the sr25 and a little bit of rfb action too even though I realized while making this video, the RFB is an assault carbine and not a marksman rifle. So never really thought to check. So I guess you always learn something new in Tarkov sometimes. So with that being said, let's jump into some of this action, going to one of my favorite maps, running some of my favorite guns. Trying to think. We are way out of position early raid. I, I got to remind myself that uh, we're playing during prime time and I can't do the out of position bullshit that I do most of the time during my morning streams. So I gotta like move back into the right position here because we're kind of pushing mid map and hitting a bunch of spawn crossroads. All right. Nice to hear some unsuppressed SKS is cracking off. What the fuck was that? Is that a revolver? That was a risky propy. A tree gameplay. Dude, that dude, I didn't hear the rush. That's why I did it. I was like, we heard him bad, right? He's gonna be backed up behind uh this with the heavy bleed and he did have it but i guess he just said fuck it and he's gonna push me on the reload when i didn't hear the push so oh man great gun beautiful love it love it it was a 5-7 unsuppressed Oh man, we have we we have to go back for the um the European servers though. This is some immediately some good action. First raid of the day. During prime time. Some higher level dudes too. That's a level 59 player. He's probably doing similar stuff to me. Anyway, back on task here. Our main mission is to um kill scavs greater than 50 meters away. So as much as I would love to just leave. Oh fuck, right here. There he is. Well, we already have our daily nearly complete, but that was not the position where I heard those footsteps. So there might be a second. The revolver's actually good now, bro. I'm, uh, I'm happy they made the changes. Those were... They made every change I suggested to the revolver. So I'm pleased. What? Where is this guy's body? Oh. Oh, poor guy. Fuck. Except for the only thing they didn't do was increase the JHP damage output, but that would make the round kind of OP. So I understand why they didn't do it. Sounds like I'm shooting a paintball gun. Kind of looks like I'm using a paintball gun too. Got the hopper on the top, you know? Okay. 
this ain't gonna be the spot for the 50s. Oh, well, maybe. Is that okay? Never mind, take that back. That's one. Be nice if we could get these guys to leave their little fucking hidey hole. Sometimes they will, but I don't know. Keep going there, big boy. Keep going there, big boy. Keep going there, big boy. Keep moving, big boy. Oh, push key. Damn. That's one. Just a rerun, guys. Yeah, just a rerun. Nothing to be, nothing to see here. Nothing. Nothing to see. Just a rerun. Just a rerun. I'm looking to see if I can spot more scavs. Now, the risky shit would be to push up to the rock in front of me, which is going to give me a good angle at ZB14. But I feel like we've done enough in this raid, so... Let's get the dub under our belt, and then we'll uh, run it back. Let's secure the SR-25 so we can use it later. All right, how many more do we got? We got eight more to go. We're getting there. One PMC kill too. I should push the fob and try to get that PMC kill. There's at least one or two guys down there. Where is this guy? I was like, slow down and just shoot him in the face. Wait, is this not a designated marksman rifle? The RFB is an assault carbine? What? Seriously? Yep, we're four away. Okay, good. All right, let's move. We are four away. We're four away and one PMC kill away. So we should probably try to get that PMC kill. Go for the player kill. There's some shit happening in the lumber camp. I feel like Sturman is up, so... We'll try to make a play on that right now. Where'd he come from? Spawned in. The one behind us spawned in. I, uh, I was up on that rock the other day, and I noticed a trend where player scavs would just keep coming. So... It's actually kind of a good spot to be. I like wait a minute and they just keep going. It was like. Sorry, bud. His gear is probably secure though. I think he went right into the fucking lake. <laughs> yeah, he did. I wonder if that's calculated. I feel like it is. I think it is. I think it is. I think that's a... Uh...
Yeah, dude, his body is in the freaking lake. All right, that's good. All right, we got that. Not when it falls in the water. Really? When did they make that change? You definitely get it back when it's in the water. Listen, I believe that's a Sturman guard. <laughs> I'm like pretty certain. Oh! I just got shot in the head. No, no, that was a PMC. I'm talking about the dude shooting at me with the suppressor and the guy hitting him with the suppressor. So he got shot by the guy that was shooting at me. So then I went to shoot him. And then I got shot in the head. There's another player here that's shooting a suppressor or a guard. But I think Sturman's up. So I feel like that's Sturman's like VSS or some shit. But I guess we'll have to find out. All right, let's go. You lost me. There's a guy in the hill with a suppressor. All right. Oh my. No fucking way. Do you see that airdrop? That is actually one of the craziest airdrop locations I've seen in a minute. It's right in the middle of the lumber camp. That's super cool. All right, we're gonna push left here. So probability of player encounter is really high on this push. So we gotta be careful because the dudes that are gonna be rolling from USEC camps for the airdrop are gonna probably be in this region right now to my left, but I don't want them. I want the SCADs, which are on the further side of the map. So we gotta just fucking goose her here. I decided to move over to the village and I got lucky with some scav spawns, meaning that I was only one scav kill away from completing my weekly mission and that would give me enough experience to push me to level 60, which will also give me the choice to turn in my Epsilon container for 777,000 experience. And since I am going for that Kappa container, of course, I'm going to be doing that quest. No brainer. What's going on? <laughs> so there's a scab up there. I just need him to come over. Okay, come on. There we go. Welcome to level 61. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Boom. We are officially... Level 60. All right, sick. Okay, so the choice, hand over the Epsilon container, boom. That puts us to level 61. And that leaves us with officially 300,000 experience to go to level 62. Holy shit, there it is. So boom. So I know I am way behind some of the other Escape for Tarkov content creators that have just been grinding out this patch, but I've been enjoying so many other games on my Twitch channel, and I've been liking the balance between a little bit of Tarkov and something a little different, just to kind of bring some variety, a little spice of life. And it's also been allowing me to not get overly burned out on the Escape for Tarkov quest grind, because doing dailies and weeklies is actually one of the most efficient ways to get levels and experience at the upper end of the game. 
I am actually only one weekly quest away from getting my hands on the Kappa container. So I will be sharing that progress with you guys this week here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe here for more Escape for Tarkov videos. I'm also uploading some more variety content too. If you're a fan of my summer car, definitely check out those videos. They're pretty great. And uh, if you're watching my streams, they're Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Links are all included in the description box below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.